And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the New York Mets taking on the Houston Astros. So just about set now. And starting this one is Jose Urquidy. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command. Can't glove it cleanly, but he wins the foot race to first. Good job of knowing how much time he had there. Starling Marte up to him. And a pitch. Marte. And a foul ball. No score just getting started top of the first. Line drive, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Francisco Lindor. Kicks and fires. That catches the zone for a strike, and that is strike two. The pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Can't get there. Base hit. Into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Back to back base hits. That could be a dangerous a pitch if you don't get it inside hit. enough Peace. because as a hitter, a you see throw. it coming across the plate the whole way. No problem handling it and putting a good swing on it that time. And now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonso. McCormick under it. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. Play it home. He's, he's safe. safe. And it's 1 0. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job to drive in that run from third. Mark. Man at first. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Mark Cannon. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. And a foul ball. He stays alive. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And that will end the inning. Pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. We go to the bottom of the first, and starting in this one, Jacob DeGrom. What do we have on him? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. In the air, out towards left center, Nimmo. Has this one sized up? And out number one on the grab. Here's Michael that Brantley. No left fielder. Michael. Well, who would have thought Jacob Brantley. DeGrom as a college shortstop and then a ninth round pick by the Mets was going to turn into this good of a pitcher? Back to back Cy Youngs in both 2018 and 2019. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. A lot of hitters tell themselves, line drive over the infielder's head. That's what I'm trying to do. Just keep that approach simple. And right there, it was perfectly executed. On time with everything and pulled it into the gap nicely. Now it's Jordan Alvarez. Now all even it up. Stays alive. Yeah, Boog, just incredible. You look at that benchmark of 200 innings, comfortably over that in 2018 with 217, and the sub-2 ERA, just impressive at 1.70 to lead the lead. Brantley off of first with two away. Oh, now this is blasted way back there on its way. Gone. Jordan Alvarez circles the bases. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 2-1. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. And now it's Yuli Gurriel. And the 2-2. That one ripped. 
That's on its way. And that one's gone. Yuli Gurriel comes through, and they tack one on the board. It's 3-1. Back-to-back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it, and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. Here's Kyle Tucker. Oh, now this one is blasted to right. Forget it. Way back there and gone. Kyle Tucker sends it out, and they add to the lead. It's 4-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. And that gets down into the gap. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. These guys today are so great with handling velocity. They're Cutting seeing it. high speeds day stuff. after day, Jeremy. and a nice job of turning that one around. Pena. Two outs, runner at first. Jeremy Pena up next for the Astros. On the ground to short. They take the force out, out and the inning is over. We go on to inning number And welcome back at the play, Eduardo Escobar. pitch into center and a base hit off to a good start with a leadoff nod well that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there that's that about as seven. textbook as it gets got his stride and load Don't out of the way early he stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front man that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee Tucker makes the catch and there's one down Batting it. The second baseman, Jeff McNeil. Man at first, and now here's Jeff McNeil. And here it comes. On the ground right side, four, six, three. It's a double play, and that'll do it for the inning. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Astros four and the Mets one. Back here at the ballpark, Martin Maldonado up to hit. Next offering is fouled back. He needs a quick one, two, three this time around. Last inning through a lot of pitches. Line to left, and it goes just foul. Singy wasn't very sharp in the first, got hit around a little bit, just wasn't able to locate particularly well. A lot of stuff for the fat part of the plate. Yeah, Boog, he wasn't fooling anyone. It's a tough place to be because it's not always obvious what adjustments need to be made. Sometimes it's location, sometimes it's being too predictable. Sometimes you're tipping your pitches. He's going to need to figure it out quickly, though. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Foul ball there. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Stays the line. Righty delivers. He swings and fouls one off. The one two. And a foul ball. And a pitch. Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way, and out of here. He circles the bases, and they add on. It's 5-1. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts, finally squared one up. He's so good at getting his arms extended, and that's exactly what he did right there. You don't typically want to pull a pitch in that part of the plate, but he doesn't allow his wrist to roll over, stays through the ball, gets the loft, and gets the home run. Jose Altuve up to hit here. In the air to left center. Nimmo makes the catch, and there's one down. Now batting, left digging field. in, Michael, Michael Brantley. One for one Brantley. with a single and a run scored so far. 
A wind in the pitch. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they tack on to their lead. It's 6-1. And now it's Alex Bregman. He's over one. Next offering is in for a strike. One down, base is empty. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Clearly, he was geared up for the fastball right there. Maybe got a little jumpy and excited out of the hand, but he certainly didn't miss a stitch. On the ground, out to short, and that should be extra bases. And now it rolls all the way to the wall. The relay to second, not going to get him. He's in there. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. And here comes the Mets manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Trevor Williams will take over here, and we'll see how he performs in this situation with his team down big. Here's Jordan Alvarez. Now a screamer into the outfield. And it one hops the wall. Marte throws to second. Not in time. He's safe. A run comes in on the play. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but he'll take that swing and that result every time. One down. And stepping in for the Astros, Yuli Gurriel. And a 1-1. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Coming around third is Alvarez. He will score, and they're pulling away up by seven now. Pulls into second, that's an RBI double. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up in second. And now the right fielder, Kyle Tucker. That one is absolutely belted. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Guriel around third. The relay to the plate. In there. He scores. It's 9-1. Drove that ball nicely. Put a great swing on it. And it jumped off his... That kind of put it all together there, and he's rewarded with the double. And yeah, the batter now, Chaz McCormick. That's ripped. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. This is unbelievable. No That's now Number six three. consecutive Shut hits up. by this lineup. Terrible. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way yeah. on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Next to hit, Jeremy Pena. Next offering upstairs. Two on, one out. He's getting a little frustrated out there on the mound, getting hit around a little bit. Let's see if he can settle himself down. Throw to first. McCormick gets back easily. On the ground, a short could be two. Off balance speed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Lifted in the air, right center field. Marte coming on. Nice grab on the run. And that ends the inning. But the long ball was working in. Welcome back. Here is James McCann. And he deals. 
Now this one is smoked down the left field line. On its way, but it's fair. Out of here. He sends it out of here. And they cut into the deficit. It's 10-2. to That's exactly the pitch he was looking for. Crushes it and hits it out of the ballpark. Here's Brandon Nimmo. Swings and misses. One gone here. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3 2. He goes off speed, gets the yeah, out. Starling Marte up Go now away. for the Mets. Picked Marte. up a base hit to center his first time on. Next offering is in for a strike. Bounced up the middle. Pena collects. Marte retired. Up next for the Mets, the shortstop, Francisco Lindor. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. There's the swing and a miss. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle two strikes. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. And that keeps the inning alive. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Kind of a risky pitch coming inside with the breaking ball like that. You have to bury it. Otherwise, oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. The Mets do pick up a run on this solo blast. It's now a... Set for the bottom of the third. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Two down. That one hooked foul. Righty to the plate. Shoots a line drive single into right center. So a man on base to start the inning. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, no, battling with two no strikes. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed Correct, to do please. with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. He's no. in there. Now Michael Brantley steps in. Line drive, base hit. And now runners at the corners, nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles, solid swing from start to end. On time with everything, really good balance, nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Here's Alex Bregman. Out there to center, Nimmo going back, back some more. And makes the grab. Runner tagging from third. He's in to score on the sack fly, and they now lead by nine. Seth Lugo gets the ball now, and he has some nasty breaking stuff. Your Don Alvarez now at the plate. He's already homered in this game. There's a 1 1. Swing and a miss. Brantley stands at first with one out. Next pitch is inside, and the count's even at two. And he grounds one back up the middle, and it finds its way through for a hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. The first pick, Yuli Gurriel comes up to hit. Yuli Gurriel. And a pitch. And that just misses. Down on strikes goes Guriel. 
two gone. So next up for Houston, Kyle Tucker. He's already homered here in this one. Kyle Tucker. That one in for a strike, two and two. He must have been looking for something else because he gave up on that pitch a little early. It was right down Main Street. Probably not going to see a better pitch to hit in this at bat. To his left, knocks it down. A flip to the pitcher covering, and that is that. On to inning number four. It's the Astros 11 and the Mets 2. New inning getting started. Here's the left fielder, Mark Canna. Well, every pitcher wants to run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some guys. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And a quick out number one. Good slider inside right there. Batter the fighting to get there, just rolled Eduardo over it, got the ground ball. Escobar. Eduardo Escobar, El Caballo up to hit. One for one with a single so far. And there's ball four. Just missed there. Ooh. How would you describe your strike zone? Kind of like a weeble. Designated large. Hit. Dominic. Smith. Two two now. Line drive. McCormick makes the play. And there are two down. The batter number one. Bat at first. Jeff, Jeff McNeil up now for the Mets. McNeil. Here's a 1-1. One, one. On the ground, right side. In time to Guriel. And that will end the inning. And welcome back. John Chambi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Chaz McCormick. Say you bought that action, we know that's a front, though. Say you make the trap jump, that's what's up. Two two now. Stays alive. Popped up to the left into foul ground. Canna pulls that one down, and there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Check swing. Went around. And the count one and two. And there's a ball. The pitch. That one lifted to left. Canna on the move to the right. He's got it. Two up, two down. Now at the plate is the, the Astros catcher, catcher Martin. Martin Maldonado. One for two. Maldonado. That's a base hit. And now a two-out opportunity for Jose Altuve. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take now it batting. every time. He kind of muscled that one okay. out there, didn't get the barrel Altuve. with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Comes the 2-2. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. Jose Altuve will touch them all. And they add a pair. It's 13-2. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Bill. We knew it wasn't coming back. That home run was a no-doubter as we dive into the numbers with StatCast. Crushed, Boo. Just Absolutely crushed. 112 miles per hour on the exit velo, and like you said, no doubt about that one. Plenty of launch angle to give it that backspin as well, and 
That carried way over the wall. Well, that right there was all pre-pitch positioning. Put himself in the perfect spot to make a great play. We go to the top of the fifth. James McCann in now. One one to McCann. On the ground. Pena handles. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Pretty good job on the mound in this one, Ziggy. It feels like we've seen a lot of off balance bat, swings. Yeah, just two? one free pass, Randy. and uh, obviously he's not a big strikeout guy, but he gets soft contact and he gets outs. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Brandon Nimmo. Strike two. Two strikes to a guy who's already 0 for 1 with the punch out. The only guy in the lineup with that strikeout. But you can't get too relaxed. You still got to make good pitches to get him out. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The punch out there, that's out number two. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike the zone, right especially with two six. strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the Mark plate Penn. in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And that's ball four. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. Yeah, but as a hitter, he'll shot. take that all day. Francisco. Runner at first with two away. Francisco Lindor up now for the Mets. Next offering is downstairs. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. The 2-1. Ground ball right side. In time to Guriel. And that is that. Back Your now to start please. the bottom of the fifth and now taking over on the mound, York. Drew Smith. Number Big deficit here, but he's still Drew. got a job to do. Well, at Smith. this point of the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and he need a little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. That's a laser base hit. And the leadoff man aboard. Just a cookie down Savannah. the middle. Number I mean, those are the ones four. you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get the Yoda. ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of Alvarez. velocity. Right on top of it. Oh, great stop. Over to McNeil. And that's two. Well, off the bat, we thought that was going to be a single, not a double play. Just a great job. Dives, knocks it down, feeds it to the Number second baseman. And a nice turn around the bag. Really great job by those two. Here's Guriel. Good contact guy, good defender. And the righty deals. Swing and a ball hammered left field. That ball's carrying. Pulls it in on the warning track. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the top of the sixth. And stepping in for New York, Pete Alonzo. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Oh, he can't squeeze it. Ground ball, left side. Tosses across the first. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Now batting. The left Here's Mark Canna. Mark Canna. Yeah, the right hander deals. On the ground to third. And foul ball. Stays alive. The wind of the pitch. And fouled off. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the at bat alive. 
One and two here. And now two and two. Caught a break right there. Pretty good pitch on the outside corner. And here it comes. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And two away now. Down the third baseman, Eduardo now Escobar. The third baseman, Eduardo Escobar. Rips that one to right. Racing makes the catch. And that'll do it. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the six. Astros lead it 13 to two. Welcome back. Bottom of the six. Check swing, but he went too far. And the count, one and two. And another ball. I got to count two and two. And a swing and a miss. One away, bottom of the sixth. Here's the center fielder, Chaz McCormick, for the fourth time tonight. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. That one fouled off. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. Right-handed reliever. 3-2 now. Plenty of offense in this one, Singy. I guess you'd say kind of what we expected, though. Well, this was a game looking at the pitching matchup where you expected offense to score and not as lopsided as this um, but yeah you definitely expected to see some offense coming up speaking of walks did you see anything special during your walk into the ballpark today I know you like to take in all the surroundings I just love interacting with the people it's just fun to connect I mean, as I was headed up to the booth, one guy shouted at me, make sure to say hi to Kenny. And it kicks off the base of the wall. Lindor, relay to third, and he's in there as a run scores. Picks himself up in RBI. Man, I love the hustle out of the box right there to make that triple happen. And just an absolute laser into the opposite field gap. He was digging hard the entire way. Check swing, but he went too far. Yeah, the count one and two. At the belt and fires. Right through there. Got him. Two away now. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. You know, sometimes as a hitter, when you're down in the count, you're so focused on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Base hit and a run into score. Well done, drives in the run. He wasn't able to elevate it, but he put a great swing on it. Right on time, good balanced approach, and just blasted it through the infield. And Michael Brantley is going to come up to hit. And he's safe at first. Check on the runner, and he's out, and they got him. That ends the inning. We're through six full. Houston leads this one, 15. Top of inning number seven, and now the DH, Dominic Smith.
Manager out of the dugout now, and he'll make a move to dip into the Astros' bullpen. The Astros turn to a new arm on the mound, Phil Maton, and a healthy-sized lead for him to go to work with. Bregman to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. The batter number one, second base. Jeff McNeil stands Jeff. in. McNeil. And he hits a ground ball right side. The throw to first, and a couple of quick outs. Now batter. And now the catcher the comes up to him. James McCann. A 1 1. There's the strike. Right-hander kicks, deals. Ground ball up the middle, and base hit. So he gets on base and keeps it going. Really nice job of two-strike hitting in that now at bat. Back. That pretty much split the, the zone field. down the middle, and Brandon. those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the Wait, third straight at bat. And welcome back. Set for the last half of the seventh. Michael Brantley to start things off. Left-hand hitter waits. To the right side. He handles it himself. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Third baseman number two. Allen. Bregman. Now it's Alex Bregman. Kicks and deals. And that one hammered. That's back there. Makes the catch crashing into the wall. Man, Boog, I love no watching matter. an outfielder Number take on the wall to make that Get play. And it's a lot easier to watch from up here because that can be painful in the end. You know the wall's coming up on you quickly, so you have to maintain concentration and able to make that catch and hold on to it after contact. Next pitch has popped up. Lindor drifts towards it. And puts the squeeze on that. And that'll do it. We're at the top of the eighth. Here's Starling Marte. And the pitch. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. And the pitch. Liner, base hit. Nice line drive to now the full side. Met it out front, but just Francisco stayed through it nice enough Lindor. and ripped it into the outfield. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. 2-2 two -two now. And down on strikes. One away. Didn't agree with the call at the plate right there. A book in a game like this, that's just too close to take. Oh, it's a blowout that. game. The first Guys have been out here for a while. Yeah. Umpire's saying, hey, oh, let's go. Time. Cut it loose. Swing the bat. Wouldn't you say in today's game of baseball, though, it's changed a little bit. The umpires, even in a blowout, seem to be more cognizant of the fact that they're being judged. So you don't get as many of those fringy-type blowout calls as maybe you did you know, back in the old days when you played. A hundred percent. I mean, the yeah. analytics are there, no and also hitters aren't willing yeah. to give up an at-bat regardless of the score. Ask Fernando Tatis Jr. Swing and a miss, and now two and two. Oh, well, that's that slurve right there. He threw it extremely well. Talk about just a ton of breaks. So tough to get that barrel to him. The pitch. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. The Mets with a new arm on the mound, Miguel Castro. He comes in with his team trailing by a bunch, so he'll try to keep it where it is. And stepping in for the Astros, Yuli Gurriel. Swing and a miss. It's two and two.
Now fly ball to right center. Marte heading to the alley. Brings it in with a nice running grab. One down. Now batting right fielder. Kyle. Kyle Tucker up next for the Astros. A guy who makes an impact not just at the plate but also in the field. Next pitch inside two and one. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. Check swing but he went too far. That's strike two. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Now batting. Center fielder. Two outs. Base is empty. Chaz McCormick up next for the Astros. The pitch. On the ground right side. Tosses to first. Inning over. Back here at the ballpark, we go to the ninth and stepping in for New York, Eduardo. Oh, here we go, Pedro Baez. The human rain delay. He's sped up this year, though. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. And he walked him. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Line drive, yeah. caught! The bat and at first, one. now it's second the second baseman, baseman Jeff, Jeff McNeil. McNeil. That one misses, and that's ball three. Maybe a two ball, five, four, three, and that's the ball game. A little sigh of relief for the pitcher there, ending the ball game with a nice double play. You always love when you can get two for one, especially when it wraps up the ball game. Nice win for these guys today. 15-2, the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by.